Hey guys, this is Dr. Missy Hood with Ezekiel's Wheel and the Compass. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, sponsored by Smack Talk Radio. We don't talk smack. We don't talk back. We just give you the straight up truth. So what's coming at you today? I always try to give you the update on witchcraft and how it's operating. And if you've noticed, the witchcraft is really heightened. The pressure is starting to heighten and people are starting to feel it. Okay, so it's only going to get worse until after July. And I'm going to tell you why. So as God moves us deeper into contraction point two into July, the pressure is going to increase dramatically. Okay. And you're going to have to make yourself hang on to the ministries that God has placed you within to make it through. Um, those operating in the occult are releasing the following against us. If you're feeling unappreciated, um, if you're feeling like your voice is being taken from you, I know my voice has been kind of scratchy. That's prophetic. That's prophetic. That means the enemy's trying to steal your voice. So you've got to come back and you've got to cast those things down. If he's coming at your reputation, your credibility, your influence, God's like, don't worry about that. Cast it down. They're coming at the weaknesses of those around us as well as our own. I've noticed the pattern of them coming at us with the independent spirit or trying to make people rebel against authority. So if you find yourself not wanting to connect or feeling isolated and thinking, I don't need to be here anymore. I, you know, I'm just bored or I'm stagnant. You need to make yourself pause. Make yourself pause. Don't disconnect in this season. Stay where you're planted. Stay loyal. Stay where you're planted. Okay? Because it's witchcraft and it's a lie to get you stuck in contraction point too. <clears throat> so staying planted so that you can continue moving forward. Stay planted. Stay sowing. Continue to sow into those ministries. Continue to do your normal. Okay? They're attacking intercessors in particular with not wanting or making us not want to be bothered, which is a form of isolation. Um, and also, we have to remember something, too, about witchcraft. Witchcraft brings out the worst in us. It brings out the spirit of witchcraft seems to hone in on all of our weak areas that we haven't been delivered of yet. That's why God was trying to get you to focus on getting major deliverance January through April. Okay? Because there's never a time to waste in the kingdom. God says, hasten the day. Hasten the day. And, and he meant it, hasten the day, but utilize the day that you've been given and continue getting freedom and deliverance. If you're plugging right along, most likely you've been obedient. You're sitting just pretty. You're sitting really beautiful and you're moving forward in advancement. But if you're not and you're getting the feelings of feeling stuck or stagnant, bored, then you need to ask yourself these questions. If I'm, Am I stuck or stagnant because of disobedience? Or is this witchcraft trying to lie to manipulate me out of my position? Those are the only two questions you need to ask yourself. And if you feel like you've been obedient, then you have nothing to worry about. There's just nothing to worry about. Just keep plugging forward. Keep coming on. But don't disconnect. So God said, hasten the day. Don't waste one minute of time when we meet with our brothers and our sisters. So those are the tricks or the keys. I'm going to say the better word is the key to keeping our advancement rolling right along. But the Lord's main advice in this hour is don't take the bait, but keep moving, okay? We're coming into the final weeks of Mercy May, or God's Heart of Mercy. That's the first contraction or the first section of God's heart that he's developing in us and enlarging in us. The second section is in June, and I call it Loving June, where God starts to enlarge his spirit of love. God is love, right? So you're going to feel that pressure as we move towards the eye of the needle in July, and then God starts to stretch us, and it's a white knuckle ride because the enemy's trying to hinder us and pulling us backwards while God is pulling us forward to get more of him. Hope you're encouraged today. Hope you stay the course, and I hope you make it through. I'm praying for you. If you don't catch me today, I hope you listen to the replay, but hope to catch you on Friday on the 15-minute rep. Don't quit.